A warm welcome to the newsroom. I am Fidelia Agoncha. Nigeria's Minister of Foreign Affairs, Geoffrey Onyema, says no Nigerian was killed in recent xenophobic attacks in South Africa. Onyema at a press conference in Abuja said information gotten from the South African government reveals that no Nigerian life was lost in the crisis. He urged Nigerians to be mindful of information circulated on social media, stressing that fake news is part of what's fueling the crisis. Meanwhile, the South Africa High Commission to Nigeria has shut down its offices and consulates in Lagos for fear of attacks. Acting High Commissioner Bobby Monroe confirmed the development, saying he has directed the Commission to suspend all consular activities until the situation improved. He explained that the reported attacks on South Africans in parts of the country informed the decision to close down the mission. Domestic carrier Air Peace says it is willing to evacuate Nigerians from South Africa to complement efforts of the federal government in quelling the xenophobic attacks. In a letter addressed to the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Geoffrey Onyema, Air Peace announced that it would be deploying a B777 aircraft from Friday, September 6, to evacuate Nigerians who wish to return back from South Africa. The Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, says former Imo State Governor Rocha Zakoracha and some members of his family would have to forfeit illegally acquired assets to the state. Head of Inuguzono Office of the Commission, Usman Imam, says the Commission has obtained orders for the interim for feature of assets traced to the former governor, his wife, Norma Nkechi, and their daughter. Oil prices fell on Thursday, giving up some of the strong gains of the previous session after an industry report showed U.S. crude stockpiles rose last week against analysts' expectations of a decline. Brent crude was down 18 cents at $60.52 a barrel, while U.S. crude dropped 23 cents at $56.03 a barrel. The youngest son of late Egyptian President Mohamed Morsi has died of an alleged heart attack at a hospital in Cairo. He was just 24 years old. Now, this is coming months after his father died during a court session in June while standing trial for politically motivated charges. Stephen O'Day is confident Nigeria will defeat Sudan in today's Africa on the 23 Cup of Nations qualifying fixture. The return leg of the match will take place next week, Tuesday, at the Stephen Keshi Stadium in Asaba. The overall winner will proceed to the Africa on the 23 Cup of Nations, slated for Egypt in November this year. And that's the latest from the newsroom. Many thanks for watching. Bye for now.